Lisa Center. <laughs> are not required. You need to have a big amount of money in the bank. Great news! Not all the time because there are programs that proof of funds are not mandatory to process your application. It is expensive. False. We have options and part of it is planning and goal setting. There is an age limit for a study permit. There is definitely no discrimination when it comes to learning new skills or studying a new course. The process is difficult. Not really, because the Visa Center is there for you every step of the way. How much is the cost of my application? The best thing for us to do is to ask the TVC consultants, wherein they will give us the comprehensive pricing scheme depending on the country that what you would like to apply for, the program that you're eligible to take, and the type of visa that you prefer. Here are some of the amazing benefits of becoming an international student in Canada. Apart from having an internationally recognized qualification, you can work part-time during your study and full-time during semester breaks. Your partner can work unlimited hours as a holder of permanent work permit during your study. Apply for postgraduate work permit after your study and stay in Canada with your family. You may include kids in your application and they can study for free in public schools. As an international student, you gain extra points for your permanent residence application. You and your partner may qualify for permanent residence after only one year of full-time work experience. Enjoy the fantastic climate and quality of life in Canada. Know if you are qualified today. The Visa Center. Shaping a better future. Here are the basic benefits of becoming a permanent resident in Canada. As a permanent resident, you get to work, study, or do business in Canada. Get access to their universal health care. You get the benefit of free education for children up to 18 years old and a highly subsidized secondary education. They also have the Canadian Child Tax Benefit where you get support from the government for raising your children. Unemployment insurance of up to 65%. Social security and age pension for your retirement. As a permanent resident, you also get to sponsor your family as a temporary or permanent resident. And of course, you have the luxury of traveling to and from Canada from the date that your visa has been granted. Experience the beauty of Canada as a permanent resident. And after accumulating years of living in Canada, you can apply for citizenship and hold a Canadian passport. Well, we all know that the Canadian passport is one of the most powerful passports in the world. Be our next successful client. The Visa Center. Shaping a better future. Okay, hello guys. Good evening everyone and welcome to the Visa Center Facebook Live. And today is Saturday. Ayan. So it's actually 6 p.m. po dito sa Dubai. At syempre, dyan sa Pilipinas ay alas 10 na ng gabi. At saka syempre, ngayong gabi po, kasama pa rin natin ang ating uh, partner from our Nueva Ecija branch. Ayan. So i-welcome muna natin siya sa ating screen. We have Miss Ayn Francisco. Hello, Miss Ayn. Kumusta? Hi, everyone. Hello. Okay naman. Very busy yung week. Ikaw, kumusta ang week mo? Well, uh, dito kasi sa Dubai medyo normal na yung ano no, yung uh, takbo ng komunidad. So parang we have some events going on na rin dito sa Dubai and everybody are still busy, you know, visiting ang Philippine uh, Pavilion which is yung Bangkota dito sa Expo 2020. At saka ano naman eh, parang uh, may I can say na back to normal pero may konting ano pa rin, may konting uh, tawag nito. Mm -hmm. Uh, carefulness na pag-iingat pa din. Oo. 
Yes. Totoo yan. Ayun. Oo, oh, oh. hindi so, naman mawawala ngayon, yung dapat maging oh, careful tayo, di ba? Siguro at saka dapat ano na yun kahit siguro wala nang wala maupatapos itong mga virus issue na to. I think naka-instill na yan sa utak ng mga kababayan natin ano True. na to really take good care of their health, to have a healthier lifestyle, di ba? Not, <laughs> so not check yun sa atin. <laughs> Better safe, di ba? Correct, oo. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Miss Ayn, ito nga, syempre, uh, tinuloy natin ano, ang ating, uh, tawag nito, ang ating discussion pa rin of becoming an international student visa in Canada and we have a new school partner na ipapakilala natin later on. So Yes. Mm-hmm, Excited diba? na ako dahil Canada ulit. Mm-hmm. Nung nakaraan, Canada din tayo pero ngayon ibang school naman. E tingnan natin kung ano yung mga i-offer nilang courses sa ating mga uh, magiging client. Ayan. Mm-hmm, correct. Kasi dito, ang kagandahan kasi guys that we are partnering with different schools in Canada so that our viewers kasi di ba partner parang Every time we go live, people are asking about this course. Do you have course in offer na medyo connected sa profile ko? It's because for a study permit kasi, no, for you to be qualified, oh, for you to get an approval pala sa iyong visa application, is that kailangan valid, kumbaga valid yung reason mo bakit, kumbaga aral ka, bakit sa Canada, di ba? Bakit hindi pwede sa country mo or sa other country, yung, yung tipong ganon. Yes, so dapat may connect yung course na nakuha mo or mga subject na nakuha mo para din mas madali, di ba, na makapasok ka dun sa school na yon. So very important na mag-consult ka for free yan sa ating mga agents sa the PVC. Yes. Ayan. Oo. At saka na sa ating screen, guys, ha? to those who are watching right now, we have 30 live viewers. And Hi, so everyone. <laughs> Mas speaker natin ang ating uh, free assessment and consultation. All you need to do is message us on WhatsApp. Or if you have a ready resume na po, pwede niyo pong isend yan sa ating email. Ayan, para po sa info at visacenter.ae. Para alam yun, if you avail kasi ang assessment, okay, malalaman mo ano yung pinaka-perfect na pathway para sa'yo. Okay, kasi may mga cases kasi dito, partner, na yung interesadong tao, Somehow, medyo kapos ang kanilang qualification. Pero after mm-hmm. assessment, pwede pala yung partner niya o yung husband niya o yung wife. Yes. Oo, so, or... we're here to help you out. Correct. Mm-hmm. Na mag-decide so, talaga ako ano yung perfect para sa inyo. Ayan. Oo. So, ito, batiin mo natin si Sherry Merencillo na nanonood sa atin ngayon. And she's actually asking, uh, good PM po, ask ko lang pwede ba mag-apply ng permit to work if you are a... V- if your visa is visitor. Visa uh, is a visitor. I think hindi yan applicable sa Canada. Oo, kasi iba kapag ano, iba yung process doon. If you guys are watching from Dubai or in UAE, dito kasi sa UAE pwede. Parang pumunta ka rito as tourist, tapos try to, you know, try your luck na mag-apply na trabaho at may employer na, na i-hire ka, pwede ka kasi mag-change visa dito. But unfortunately for Canada, hindi siya po pwede. Yun so, depende sa bansa, yung mga rulings nila. Ano, iba-ibang bansa, iba-iba yung rules sa visa mm-hmm. uh, permit. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. Ayun. Anyway, ito pa, we have another viewer, si Susan Flora. Ayan, hello. Ayan, best friend siya ng sister ko na nunood sa atin. Hi, Miss Susana. Oh, and then we have si Sweeten Cruz Cabillo. Paano po kung high school lang graduated. Okay, so we stand by kasi babalik tayo sa mga with our consultants at saka syempre ang ating special guest. But I can say po, yes, there's an option na po pwede po kahit high school graduate ka. Okay, we just need to know more details pa kasi from your profile. Kasi yes, study naman for everyone. Eh. Yes, kung graduate siya ng K-12 or yung old curriculum, so depende pa din. Kaya dapat uh, pag-usapan natin yan later on. Uh, okay. So ito para isingit natin kung may mga promotions pa o na ongoing, syempre, ang The Visa Center. Tawagin natin si Miss Bell. Isa sa mga, tawag nito, isa sa mga pinagkakatiwalaan natin dyan sa ating head office sa, dito sa Dubai. Ayan. Bell, join na sa ating screen. Hello Ayan, po. Ayan, promotion ngayon. Yes po. So ongoing pa rin po yung 30%, um, yung promotion po natin for professional fee. So yun, you still have two days left po para habulin yun. Kasi sayang naman, wala naman siyang expiration. 
Ayun. And so, Bell, stand by ka later on for our viewers na magtatanong if they're going to ask for a permanent residency. So, see you later. Ay, and see okay. you later, Miss Bell. Mm -hmm. So, ito na, partner. Alam ko, very excited na tayo, no, to introduce our special guest for today. Pero alam mo, ba, napansin ko lang pala, partner, mayroon pala music dito sa ating uh, stream yard ngayon. Let's try this. Kung yung ko lang kung malilinig siya. Okay, magba-background music tayo. O sige. Ayan, nalilinig. Alright. Okay. <laughs> so, at least para magiging masayas. Ayan. Medyo mas lively, no? Okay, uh -oh. so introduce ko na ba, partner? Alright, okay. so tonight... Okay. Uh, yes, let's do that. <laughs> okay, go ahead, partner. Ayan, tonight... Ayan, so tonight, isang kababayan naman natin ang ating makakasama. He is the, one of the International Education Representative of Centennial College in Toronto, Canada. So let's all welcome Mr. Ray Rossell. Hello, sir. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Hello, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Glad to be here. I thank you, um, the Visa Center team, for organizing this wonderful event. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sir, before you go with your presentation, ayan, may mga couple of questions lang tayo na i-raise una. So we know naman kasi that, di ba, open na yung border, may kasi may mga ibang applicants, naka-approved applicants sa kami na nakapunta na doon. So yung tanong lang natin is, if ever ba, na, para sa mga viewers natin ngayon, na, na kasi marami tayong viewers na nag, mga naka-standby lang sila, kung muna tinatanong kasi nila, sir, is kailan yung next na intake na pwede nilang, pwede pang mahapon? Yeah, so actually at Centennial, we have three intakes. So that's January intake. Uh, for that one, it's already a bit too late to enroll in that. But there's still time for our May and September intake. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, ito na, sir. Uh, if your presentation is ready, uh, you can share it now para po may share that sa screen. Okay, uh, let me just share my screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, while waiting for that partner, may mga ilang mga comments lang tayo dito, no? Coming from Randy Paila. Pwede po ba business, business course, course din kumuha ka ng other courses like culinary or health-related course? Very good question. Stand by. Ito, partner, basahin mo yung next question. From Joel. Ano, hello po, ano pong vaccine or booster ang allowed sa Alberta, Canada? Ayan, magandang mga tanong yan. Okay, yes, tama. May mga country na maselan, di ba? Uh, Anong mga booster or vaccine nga ba? Pwede ba AstraZeneca, Sinovac, or... Pfizer, mga ganon. Or okay. J&J. <laughs> oh, I think, okay, we will share the screen now, uh, yung presentation, sir. Okay, uh, can okay. everyone see my screen? Yes, yes, go ahead. Nasa screen na natin sa... Okay, so again, hello everyone, good evening. Uh, my name is Arce Rosel. I'm the Philippine Marketing Representative of Centennial. So to start my presentation, let me first share a short video just to give everyone watching right now an idea of what it's like to study at Centennial College. <laughs> Think of a place, a place you want to be, a place you belong. It's a step up, a step forward, a statement, a strategy. It's where dreams take flight, where the fire burns hot, more than 50 years strong but built for today. Focus on the horizon of tomorrow. Inclusion, equity, citizenship, real world and our world. We think harder, reach higher, live local, study global. We unlock doors and change the direction of our minds. Education without borders, global citizenship, equity, and social inclusion are the values. From hundreds of cultures and 80 languages, we stand together to focus on a stronger future. We live to laugh, we love to play, we rise with the sun and reach for the stars. From court case to aerospace, searching and researching, we break the mold and find a better way. It's a commitment to ourselves and a promise to others. Centennial. You belong. Okay, so that is just a glimpse of what it's what you can expect uh, while studying at Centennial College. So as you saw from the video, what I really want to highlight here is we have all of these amazing facilities and laboratories so that our students would really get to enjoy 
a hands-on learning experience. So you can really expect a lot of hands-on work from most of our uh, programs. Like for example, for our culinary programs, you get to operate our very own cafe and restaurant that we have on campus. Uh, you're guided by these amazing managers, professional chefs, amazing instructors who really have backgrounds in the field that you will be entering eventually, okay? So where is Centennial College located? We are located in the province of Ontario. Of Ontario is the home of over um of one of its home of one of the largest filipino communities um, in canada and we are specifically located in toronto so toronto is the business and financial capital of canada and even generating about 20 percent of the country's gdp so you can really expect that there's a lot of career and work um, opportunities available here it's often compared with other big financial capitals like new york or london so that many of the people of Ontario would usually go to Toronto to look for better um, jobs or careers as well. About half of the people living in Ontario are, are living within the greater Toronto area. Okay. Also looking at some of the rankings and indices online, you would definitely always see Toronto making the list as one of the best places to live or one of the most uh, livable cities. In fact, right now, there's also a lot of uh, significant uh, skills shortage in um, in Ontario. There's uh, in November alone, it was reported to have over three hundred thousand vacant jobs in Canada, and we see that immigration will be the key into filling those gaps. So, since you'll be in Toronto and there's a lot of job opportunity in Ontario, you can really expect a lot of job opportunities. In fact, we even have our own um, employment resource center that can help you when it comes to looking for part time or full-time jobs, especially in Toronto. Also, um, staying at Centennial and being in Toronto is truly a cultural experience. While staying at Centennial, you get to meet different people from coming from different backgrounds in different countries. We currently have over 13,000 international students um, currently enrolled, and they're coming from over 150 countries since 2010. Yet, if you miss being with your fellow Filipinos, it's also very easy to find your fellow Kababayans there. We have over a thousand Filipino international students enrolling at Centennial College. And this 2021 alone, we had almost a thousand new Filipino international student enrollments coming from the Philippines and different uh, parts of the country, uh, of different parts of the world as well. So these are our campuses. All of them are located within the greater Toronto area. Our main campus is our Progress Campus. It's located in Scarborough. There's also a lot, a big Filipino community there. You might have heard about Centennial from some of your relatives already um, from um, Scarborough because I often get a lot of students in, in, inquiring, um, telling me that they have a relative who talked to them about Centennial because they have already seen it um, around Scarborough. And so this is the home of our main campus and of our programs in the business school hospitality, tourism, and culinary arts in some of our engineering and applied sciences programs as well. And in our progress campus, like I said earlier, you must have, must have seen it in the video. We do have a lot of amazing facilities and laboratories here. This is also where we have our student residences. So if you want to live um, very near to your classes or just walking distance to your class, you can opt to stay here at Centennial Place. This is actually where we also have um, the local, which is our very own cafe and restaurant. And it's operated by students, guided by our um, professors as well. And we even have guest suites and event center in, in the same uh, buildings as well, which our students get to use throughout their learning experience. If you want to consider staying here, you can visit the full details at centennial-place.ca. But to give you a glimpse, it is pretty much what you get to enjoy here at Centennial uh, Place, so fully furnished rooms, lots of amazing amenities. Uh, we even have a small uh, grocery there so that you don't really have to go very far. Everything is very accessible. Uh, in terms of convenience, it's definitely worth considering staying here at Centennial Place. It's gonna cost at least 1,000 Canadian dollars per month per student to stay here. But if you're looking for other options outside of the campus, we can definitely help you with that as well, give you some resource materials or where you can look for places to stay in. In fact, we have our very own Facebook group where there are regular listings of places to stay in. 
and you can even make a post yourself there if you're looking for something a bit more specific and i often see new places being listed, listed there um for only around 400 to 600 Canadian dollars uh, per month okay and moving on to our story art center campus this is where we have many of our creative programs if you have a creative passion that you would want to pursue or turn into a career or job in toronto and in canada we would most likely offer those programs here so uh, these creative programs would include programs in film photography fine arts journalism graphic design and we have all of these amazing tools equipment studios even a live broadcast newsroom um, a newsroom with live broadcast capabilities all for you to use throughout your learning experience so like i said you really get to enjoy a hands-on learning experience throughout all of our programs and in our ashby center is where we have our school of transportation our most popular programs here would include our motive power technician programs although they have very limited seats and usually they're only offered during september so if you have background in those fields i would recommend that you apply as soon as you can and this is also where we used to have most of our aviation and aerospace programs in the past but as a publicly funded college regulated by the ministry of education we do our best to help meet the demands of the city or the province where our college is located in that's why you might not see a lot of agricultural programs at Santana because we are located in uh, toronto so we focus more on what the community needs and before the pandemic there was over 40 million tourists every year and we we need to grow more our aviation and aerospace offerings so in january 2019 we decided to open our newest campus the downstream campus so right now this is where we have majority of our aerospace and aviation programs ironically enough we open open this uh this building so that we can open more program seats to um to our students for aviation and airspace but still since it was a really successful launch and the campus is really one of our most beautiful campuses right now we still run out of seats pretty quickly for our programs in the aviation airspace programs um, usually we even get a lot of domestic students enrolling into these programs okay. and in our morning side campus is where we have our school of community and health studies so we have a lot of programs here for students with health backgrounds we also have the early child education program here which is perfect for those with um, education backgrounds and um, usually i get a lot of inquiries from students with nursing backgrounds as well and they you often enroll in um, some of our programs here including our personal support worker program which is a one-year program and for two-year options we also offer um, a lot of two-year options for those with health backgrounds such as pharmacy technician recreation and leisure services um, fitness and health promotion so lots of programs to choose from uh, it really depends on what you would want to pursue more uh, when it comes to you arriving there in Canada. and still they run out of seats pretty quickly as well so we are also the oldest and one of the largest publicly funded college in ontario right now our full-time student population is around twenty six thousand, and about half of that our international students so we really do um, take care of our international students as well and we have over the years developed our facilities teaching and industry partnerships for our students as well just to give you an idea these are some of our leading program advisory committee member organizations so what um, our PAC so what this PAC does is they help develop our curriculum they make sure that whatever we're gonna be teaching you into your program is going to be relevant into the field in the field that you will be entering after you finish it so you can really experience or you get to notice while um, taking your classes that everything you're learning you would fi somehow find a way on how you would eventually use it when you start um working especially since you get to experience many hands-on work uh, while you are in campus so what uh what else do these companies do they also provide our students with field placement opportunities co-op opportunities and even many of our students manage to land jobs in these companies eventually as well you might be familiar with a few of them like facebook google samsung and ford just to name a few and of course like i said earlier we have an employment resource center that can help connect you with these companies 
to help you get a better chance of getting a job faster. Okay. And for our programs, we have over 160 full-time programs available to international students. It can be a bit overwhelming to go through all of them while you're browsing, especially if you're not yet sure what program you should take. Well, as a rule of thumb, what I would like to recommend students is taking a program that they're really passionate about. And ideally, it, it should be at least related to your educational background, your professional background, or even a business that you or your family may have. Actually, I also have one student um, who was able to get an approval because he he had a different field. I believe, I believe he had a health background, but his hobby was baking. So he made a, a se several, in, in, um, he has been posting his um, his baking projects in his Instagram and somehow created a portfolio of everything that he baked. And he was also able to get into our baking program and got his study permit approved. So for the school, ideally, you have you must be at least k-12 graduate or equivalent which is old curriculum plus at least two years in college or university to get into most of our post-secondary program however for the visa application it must be related to the story that you have right now or what you're doing so that you have better chances of getting your study permit approved and of course we have the visa center who can also help you with making that choices as well okay so I'm just going to be hiding a few of our programs since it can be a bit overwhelming to go through all of them. But I do encourage you to visit the website to see the full details of each program. You get to see in the website the program availability, um, the course curriculum, the tuition fee, um, the career outlook as well, even the um, university pathway partners that we have if you decide to pursue further studies after finishing that program. So you might notice in this list, um, many of our most popular programs would be in hospitality, engineering, um, tourism, culinary arts, mainly uh, the programs available in our progress campus because it's also one of our biggest campuses where we offer a lot of seats um, to you know, international students. Uh, that's why uh, for any other programs that you might not see in this list, it's definitely ideal that you apply as soon as you can. And even if it's here in this list, um, still, it's better to secure your seat earlier and to start your visa application sooner so that you get better chances of make, getting your study permit approval on time. For our program delivery, I, um, because of COVID, of course, uh, right now we are delivering our programs online or hybrid, but with plans to go back to face-to-face -to -face once allowed by the government. And since we are a designated learning institution with an approved COVID-19 readiness plan, our students are eligible to travel to Canada, even uh, despite the pandemic, they're part of the exemption. Um, even if the program delivery is online or hybrid, if it's online, you can also choose to, to um, start taking the first uh, semesters in your home country, and it will still count towards your post-graduation work. However, for hybrid, some of the classes will be done in the campus, so you really have to be there um, in Canada for these programs, okay? and. Like I said, all of them are eligible for post-graduation work permit since we are a designated learning institution with an approved COVID-19 readiness plan. And also, Centennial College has been the number one college choice for international students studying in Canada for the past seven, eight years in a row already, um, meaning we have the highest number of international student enrollment across any other college in Canada with over 13,000 international students currently enrolled. And from the uh, Philippines, we have over a thousand of them currently enrolled. And we have been trusted by international students for several years already. We have a lot of amazing departments ready to help them there. We have the Employment Research Center, if you're struggling to look for part-time or full-time jobs. We have success advisors in case you are struggling academically. Right now, our registration team is helping those traveling to Canada um, for their airport pickup, for making sure all of their documents are complete for them to arrive, arrive smoothly and without any problems as well. So, and many, many more teams out there in Canada dedicated to helping you. Here in the Philippines, actually, we have an office in Makati. Um, it's located in Corinthian Plaza. However, right now, I'm still working from home. However, we look forward to going back to our offices soon. So if you want to visit, visit us eventually before you travel to Centennial, you can definitely visit us there. So. And for Filipino international students, we have been the number one choice as well 
uh, for quite some time now about from this enrollment data about 25 percent of the filipino international students enrolling in ontario chooses to study at centennial college for the requirements so you can definitely approach our partner here for this so that they can already help you throughout the entire process um, but I really want to highlight here is that we are already waiving IELTS or the English proficiency test for students that studied in the Philippines. Even if you're not a, a Filipino, um, a Philippine passport holder, even if you're not Filipino, actually, as long as you completed your studies here in the Philippines, um, we can waive the IELTS for you. Just submit a certificate of English as a medium of instruction from both your high school and your college, and you don't have to submit um, the IELTS as results. We don't have any application fees as well, and we're one of the fastest when it comes to issuing offer letters and LOAs. Usually, if you, all your documents are complete, if it's not the application period, we process in just two to three business days. For the tuition fee, um, you might be curious if there's uh, if there's any difference in our, in the tuition fee of our programs. If there's any any programs more affordable than the other, well, currently um, they're both priced around the same at 17,000 to 19,000 Canadian dollars for one year or two semesters. So for the payment, once you submit your requirements, you don't have to pay for anything yet. We don't have any um, application fees. And once you receive your offer letter, that means you're accepted into the program, you only have to settle the initial deposit of 2,650 Canadian dollars so that you can secure your seat and receive your letter of acceptance and start the visa application process. You only have to settle the tuition fee for one semester to start your classes. And this the deadline for this is usually one to two months before the intake starts so that you can register for your classes and build your time save. Okay, There are only a few programs that require students to pay the first semester in full, in full uh, because these are programs that are really high in demand. So we on the consider really serious application for those okay looking as well at the international student barometer as you can see from this data uh, it's a survey of 4596 international students and that many students we got this amazing results of 96 percent of them feel engaged with their studies they're happy with the faculty campus environment the learning spaces stage is actually our international advising team which has registered immigration consultants who can also assist you once you are there. Okay. So Centennial has also been the number uh, ranked the number one college in the greater Toronto area for both employer and student satisfaction. So these are the, um, in the data in the key performance indicators, which is a survey done by the government. And it means our international students are happy with, or our students in general are happy with the quality of education that they receive and our employers or industry partners are also happy with the students that we send them with. And one more bonus for students coming from the Philippines, we currently have a partnership with Philippine Airlines. You're free to screenshot this in case you eventually have to travel to Canada for 2022. So this is for all of our intakes this year, and you just have to submit your study permit approval and letter of acceptance to PR underscore corporate at pal.com.ph and you will be eligible to receive a promo code for your on, online booking in the Philippine Airlines website. If you're traveling with your spouse and dependent, they can also avail this promo, maximum of two companions allowed. Just have them submit their proof of relationship, okay? And to end my presentation, I'd like to share one last video. Let's also hear it from the Filipino international students currently studying or have graduated as in college. registered practical nurse in here in Canada, but I also work uh, part-time as a PSW, personal support worker. Centennial College has helped me in many ways. It has helped me 
um, improve my communication and my people skills as well. Staff and professors are really approachable. You can really feel the, sin the sincerity in helping the students and making each student succeed in life. I met a, a lot of people online. They're asking questions about how to get to Canada as a student. I am really happy that we have an office in Manila to cater those who are interested in coming here as a student. Canadians in general are very nice, friendly, and happy people. And also, people here just love to celebrate. And I think that's one way that Filipino people can relate to very much, because here, celebrations are everywhere. I graduated from Community and Child Studies Foundations with honors, I'm proud to say. And now I am on my um, third semester of um, early childhood education program. Canada is a country that embraces diversity. Everybody's culture and tradition is being celebrated. I'm currently working as a junior accountant in a tax accounting firm. I really recommend Centennial College as an institution here in Canada, especially in Toronto. They have a lot of facilities that can help you develop your skills, abilities, not just focus and study. Actually, I had a hard time choosing for my program. They offered a lot of good programs that will make you experience way beyond your profession or way beyond your skills. I've always wanted to study abroad. It has been my dream to come to Canada. I came to study at Centennial College because my sister came here and she got the job that she wanted with the help of Centennial College. While I was a student, I volunteered at the business school where I got to develop my skills and confidence and develop a good relationship with my teachers. I also got to work with the field placement officer at the business school. We were able to create the field placement app for the students and employers to use throughout their field placement journey. I have gained so much confidence with myself and I got a job from my placement, which is a part of my program here at Centennial College. For those aspiring students, welcome to Canada and welcome to Centennial College. I'm looking forward to seeing more Filipinos to come here, to get to live here, to study here, and make this their own home away from home. Mga kababayan namin Filipino, we are encouraging you to come and visit Centennial College Makati office. <laughs> Okay, that ends my presentation. I'll be here to answer some of your questions as well. And right, thank you so much. We are back. Survey. Napakadami yung diniscuss, no? Talagang blow by blow, no? Napaka-specific ng kanyang mga presentation na talaga naman na nakaka-excite na mag-enroll sa Centennial College. Right, partner? Oh. Okay, wait lang ito. Uh, ang hirap maging director at saka magiging host. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so much sir for that ano, a very ano, uh, informative na presentation nyo of Centennial School. So dito kasi nakita natin ano, one common na uh, tinatanong sa atin ng mga followers natin or ng mga viewers sir is ito nga, yung accommodation. Because sa presentation mo, you mentioned na merong accommodation for all the students, especially yung mga walang relatives doon na na let's say na nasa ano mismo nasa Ontario. So can you give us uh, a details let's say how much will be the cost if ever na if they chooses to to stay sa ano sa accommodation. Yes yeah, sure. At Centennial Place the um, mm -hmm. um, student residences located in our Progress campus it's going to cost at least 1000 Canadian dollars per month per student. But we also have other options for them as well. We actually have we will actually be sending this before they travel to Canada and of course who they can contact to get assistance as well. And there I would usually find options ranging from 400 to 600 Canadian dollars per month, especially in our Facebook group. Yes, you mentioned the Facebook page, the a community that will help them to look for a comfortable house to stay in, diba? Sabi mo nga kanina, meron kayong Facebook group. Which is magandang support group yan sa mga, syempre, bago doon, tapos walang kakilala. Yes, yes I'm a, I can all, I will be sending this to you guys as well so that you can also. <laughs> At alam mo ba na check ko actually kanina ginugol ko yung Centennial College. Very impressive ang inyong website. Ang ganda mm -hmm. niya kasi may mga test pa siya parang personality test parang ganoon, may mga yes. test pa siyang ganoon. 
which is very good, di ba? Hindi basta-basta na kung gusto mo yon hindi pala sa'yo kable yon So, napaka-helpful nung site, centennialcollege.ca. Ayan. So, visit nyo lang po yung site nila pagka meron kayong gusto pang i-clarify. Pero napakaganda po ng presentation, very elaborated. Okay, so ito, we will go with our viewers muna. Uh, ito yung mga bumabati ng si Sir Arnel. Austria is back watching us again. And may mga nagsasabi dito kanina na hindi pa nila nasasagot sis. Ano yung hindi nasasagot? Uh, I think, ah, okay, I think we have to go back from the first questions kanina. Okay. Yes. So ito na nga yung sinasabing high school. Ayan, so let's say, uh, yeah, Sir RC, what if let's say high school graduate lang? Uh, we welcome din ba siya sa Centennial College? Or ano yung uh, process na kakailangan na nilang pagdaanan or qualifications? Yes, if old curriculum, they need to have at least two additional educational backgrounds, um, two years in college, university, or even vocational. And they can already, if they have that, they can already qualify for most of our post-secondary programs. If mm -hmm. they are a K-12 graduate, they are already qualified to apply for most of our post-secondary programs. So those are the minimum requirements. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So, ayan, Miss Sweeten, I wish na yun yung uh, tanong na sinasabi nila. And then another question, uh, partner, from Sweeten pa din. Pwede po ba siya sa PR ang graduate ng high school? Well, I think we have to go back with that kay, ano, kay uh, Miss Bell later on. Sweeten, standby ka ha, kasi we have that on the second half of our Facebook Live. Kasi permanent residency pa siya. Sir, nasagot so, po ba kanina yung ano, booster na na okay sa Canada, nasagot ba kung anong brand? Sir Arce, can you help us with that? Do you have any oh. ano ba, advice from the school itself? Kasi baka meron tayong travel <laughs> advice dyan na ano yung uh, kailangan ng mga vaccine? Ano yes. Actually, before November, I believe we were accepting uh, Pfizer, Moderna, and Sinovac. But after uh, the announcement in November, we we're also accepting other vaccines already. I don't have the full list of the additional vaccines, but I know final back is also included in that list already as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yun, thank you so much for that update. And then, ito, uh, another question, Gagay Suiten. Paano po kung high school graduate si Mr. Then we are planning to go to Canada as family. Possible po ba? I think this is again another uh, PR question. Uh, sige, balikan natin yan. Wish we can stand by po kayo ha. Yan, uh, may mga question tayo. Do you have an IT course? Which is, yun nga, yes, we have, right? Correct? Yes, actually, for those with IT background, we have a lot of programs to offer you. If you want to focus on the software engineering side, we have software engineering programs. We also have computer systems technician programs as well, and even cybersecurity programs. Um, all of these, I believe, is in line with those with IT backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so we have here viewers from uh, ay, Alberta, Canada naman yung tinatanong. Kasi nga, we're talking here about Ontario. Okay, yes. so ibang lugar yung Alberta. Okay, and uh, we have a viewer from uh, Hong Kong, si Grace Hong Gonzalez Goliado. And may mga tanong kasi dito, this is more on permanent residency uh, question. So standby po kayo for that question. Siguro ang, ang balikan na lang natin, sir. Ayan, Miss Ayn, mag-ready ka na ng next question mo. Tayo magbibigay ng tanong kay Sir RC. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, nakita kasi natin ano, doon sa, sa presentation mo kanina, napakaraming courses. Na number one, nakita natin din yung hospitality, yung uh, tawag nito, yung IT nga. Uh, meron din kayo for parang pang teacher, parang education, uh, parang English teaching. And also, most of your courses actually is medyo parang field sa mga Pilipino. And yeah. plus considering that, uh, siyempre, Ontario is, yun nga, napakadaming Pinoy na dyan ngayon. Sobrang laki ng population ng Pilipino dyan. Okay. Pero do you have any, ano po ba, let's say, for our students na kunyari, let's say, maghahanap ng trabaho, kasi they are allowed to work naman uh, as part time. Uh, do you offer let's say, job inside the campus for the students? And gaano naman kalayo yung ano yung uh, yung campus na yan sa mga let's say, para mga business areas, okay? Yes. Ng Ontario. Yeah, that's actually a good question. Um, we so that's why we also have uh, we do have jobs available in the campus, and that's what, where our employment resource center comes in. They do regular job fairs for jobs 
in available inside or outside the campus. And of course, the bonus is if they manage to land jobs inside the campus, they can work even more than 20 hours uh, per week, which is a limit for um, jobs outside um, of the campus. So I do encourage them to reach out to our employment resource center for assistance on that so that they if they will be aware as well of the jobs available um, inside the campus. Usually I hear most some of our students becoming student assistants or it, outside the campus, it's, uh, there's lots of part-time jobs available in Toronto. Like I said, in the latest in the latest data we have, there's about 300,000 vacant jobs right now in Ontario, and we wow. really need the help of international students to help fill those um, employment gaps. Ayan, so napakaganda talaga ng offering ng Centennial College, no? Kasi yung mga nakaraan natin mga school, though they help their students, excuse me, na makahalap ng trabaho, pero itong school na to, meron silang specific na employment research center na talaga namang they support the international students na talagang masustain yung pag-aaral nila by giving them jobs. So napakadali. Tapos, yung like na like ko nga yung ano nyo, FB community page, Ako ba kayo nila? Like mo, hindi pwede. Like the like mo. Alam. Talaga po, buta niya ata ako ng Canada. Look lang. Para lang ano, masaya lang. Okay. So, yeah. ito, we have we have some questions pa din, pero yung uh, for the second For half permanent of our residency siya. Yung mga topic natin. Okay, I have two questions. Uh, kinakatakutan to ng mga Pilipino kadalasan. Talking about IELTS, yung English Qualification. Yeah for them to get enrolled. So may, may mga school partners kasi tayo na they say uh tawag ito. Ang category kasi is level 2 ang Filipino kaya hindi na sila ni-require for IELTS. But then <coughs> siguro just to say it again, ano ko naging part sa kanila na presentation mo? Yes. For our late tuners, ayan. Are we required ba as Filipino to take IELTS pa? Uh yeah, this is actually new as well. It only started around I believe March of 2020, we have already started waiving IELTS for students that studied in the Philippines. Just submit a certificate of English as a medium of instruction letter from both your high school and your college or university, and you don't have to take IELTS. There's only one program where we can't waive it in, and that's our pharmacy technician program because it's regulated by NAPRA and this is their admissions requirement. But the rest, you don't need to submit IELTS test results. Just medium of instruction letter. Alright, that's good. Ayan. So good. Ang news yan para sa ating mga kabayan, hindi required ang IELTS maliban sa isang course offering nila. Ayan. So take note of that. Ito lang mag-aapin ng SDS. Yan lang. Ah, yes. Oo, kasi we understand naman yan. Kasi syempre, di ba, parang medyo medicines na kasi yung involve eh. And you have yes. to really yes. like... The return. Oo, di ba? Risky kasi na iba yung understanding mo tapos magbigay ka ng ibang gamot. So, oh, that's great. <laughs> Baka na imbis na gumaling na hindi lumala yung pasyente. Ano? Oo. Baka mga gusto ganun. niya na kasi simple na gamot lang na dapat hindi drowsy. Ang maibigay is drowsy. So, na, nakatulog si client. Ay, si pa, Habang si nag-drive. Ayan. <laughs> Okay, next, uh, ako yung tanong ko is tungkol naman sa pera. Kasi yung mention kanina, your tuition fee is 18,000 Canadian dollar. The same with so, others. Is, is that for one year uh, na, ano, na tuition or is it, let's say, how about kung two years course? Yes. So uh, for all the programs, for every year that you would have to take, it's seventeen to 19,000 Canadian dollars. So if it's a two-year program, it's around 34,000 uh, Canadian dollars for the entire year. But per year, uh, it's only seventeen to nineteen thousand, and you only have to settle the first semester tuition fee for you to register and start your classes. To receive the LOA, just that two six fifty uh, would suffice for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at this malinaw yon. So now, okay, guys, some viewers sa and maybe they are uh, converting na yung seventeen thousand. <laughs> yes. To either to pesos or magkano na ba ang Canadian dollars? <laughs> I think it was around 40. So I think it's around 600, uh, 17,000 Canadian dollars, around 680,000 pesos. Wow. Okay, but we're going to say that. Yeah, that is for one year, guys. So. Oh, hindi naman nila you know, just, ka agad. Oh, just for you to start lang yung inyong application, of course, you need to pay for at least the first semester lang. Okay, and then, uh, what do you do this? Uh, 
ano naman yan eh, ang, ang payo natin sa mga viewers natin is that you have to start, uh, let's say, uh, your application now. Because for you to have more sure. time, di ba, to comply pa yung lahat ng requirements na maaring hingiin ng Davisa Center sa inyo to support your, your enrollment sa Centennial College. And at the same time, uh, what this, uh, para mas may, may time kayo guys, no, to, let's say, to prepare for the money. Ang importante is nakaset na kayo, ma-ready na natin yung inyong intention of, anong tawag doon, uh, Sir RC? Yung, let's say, parang letter mo to immigration officers for them to I allow you to stop. The statement of purpose uh, for the visa application. Yeah, mm, yeah that, that's correct. Ayun. Okay, so yung intakes natin, available na lang kasi kanina nga, you mentioned na January, January na ngayon, and it's Tapos one na. day na lang, or two days na lang, Tapos no January. Uh, so no chance na. So, ang po, pwede nilang habulin na lang ngayon is yung May intake at saka September. And September. Yes. So yung dapat mag-prepare mag -prepare na sila. Is mm -hmm. yung September because some programs are only offered in September, especially most of our health programs or early childhood education actually say early childhood education it's offered in two campuses the one in the progress campus is already closed for september it just closed last week so now is the best time to apply for the our september mm -hmm. and may intake as well so okay. dapat mag ready na for the may and september diba mabilis lang kasi ang panahon eh dapat di na tayo magpatumpik tumpik pa if we're really decided ayusin na natin lahat ng ating mga requirements and let the visa center help you ayan Yes. At saka syempre ito no, para sa mga viewers lang natin kasi nga guys, napakadami na mga applications natin. Okay, not only just in United Arab Emirates but we also receive applications kasi from other Middle East countries. countries. Okay. Kaya sa mga viewers natin dyan guys, if you are watching our Facebook Live now, maybe this is your first time na napanood nyo kami, okay, you can still apply po for a study permit Okay, let's say going to Centennial College, kahit po nasa Saudi Arabia kayo, nasa Oman, nasa Qatar, kasi po lahat po ng process natin, online lang. Start with our free assessment and consultation. Our contact details is nasa ating ticker. Okay, and then we will help you guys to decide, let's say, ano yung course ang pwede sa'yo, ano yung course ang pwede mong uh, i-take doon. Okay, and at the same time, uh, let's say, uh, kami na bahalang makipag-connect, no, kina RC. Uh, doon sa Centennial College of your uh, applications, kami yung magiging assistance. So the advantage kasi Miss uh, Ayn, kasi si Ayn kasi is in the Philippines, she's actually a teacher by profession. Ako naman model by profession. Di ba, Ayn? <laughs> yes. Mukhang <laughs> sama ko ni Arce, mga model kami by profession. So, <laughs> medyo lang. Ito kasi nga. Bagay uh, naman. Alin? Model ka din ba? Ano ba? Eh, ito para sa mga viewers natin kasi ang dami no, like yesterday. Ay. Ito, yeah, yesterday may na-approve tayong application din. Okay, na na tawag na going to Canada rin for study permit. So, ang daming mga Pilipino na pinipili po talaga ang Canada. Okay, na doon sila mag-aral. One very good reason why they are opted to they take yung study permit is because it is the easiest, the fastest way to enter Canada. And once you graduated, diba, you have an, a diploma na kasi sa Canada, and, and you're planning to become a permanent resident later on, to apply pala for a permanent residency, you get more additional points eh, because you graduated there, you get experience, etc. etc. Lalo na if, the same, diba, may, mga, may mga available program ngayon ang, ang Canada, na lisa yung yung AIP okay na you have the, yung experience mo kunyari or yung husband mo kasi pwede mo isama yung husband mo yung partner mo while you are under study permit pwede sila magtrabaho ng full time and di ba habang nag-aaral ka nakakapagtrabaho sila ng full time and then yung experience na yun can also help them for this AIP which is yung pag-uusapan natin sa second part mamaya ng ating uh, Facebook Live. So, ang ating huling tanong, ayan, Miss Ayn, ikaw muna. Do you have any uh, last question kay Sir RC? Ayan, para sa Centennial College dyan sa Canada. Sa personal, yung ta personal yung tanong ko eh. Huwag na. Ikaw <laughs> na magtanong. Narin ko sana kasi yung si Sir. Charot lang. 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 Hindi curious lang ako. Ikaw ba yung nag-voice over ng video? 
Parang ikaw eh. Hindi, hindi. Parang hindi ikaw. So yan. So nakakatuwa naman dahil kayo ang highest, merong highest number of international students saka college choice ng mga international students. At nakakatuwa na sabi mo nga nasa 1,000 Filipino students ang nandyan. So nakakatuwa yeah. naman pagpunta Actually, mo dyan, parang nandun ka lang din. Ayan yung mga bagong yes. enroll lang ah, in, January, bago. in 2021. Mga new incoming pa lang yan. Aside pa yung mga that's still taking their second year or third year for the mm-hmm. program. So it's really Ayan. a lot more. A lot of, uh, I think at least 1,300 Filipino international Ayan. students. Ayan. So since wala naman na akong tanong, ano na lang ang message mo sa ating mga kababayan, mga interested na students natin na? Of course, thank you everyone for joining us this evening. I know it's very late. Um, it's sad, I believe, even there in the Bay and here, especially here in the Philippines. <laughs> It's already very late. I hope you all had your dinners already before joining. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. And when you start your application, do start with the Visa Center. I, um, You can apply on your own, but I do encourage students to start applying with our partners because it's just going to make your lives easier and it really helps um, helps you save time as well. Because I've received many students uh, um, telling me they want to try on their own and then eventually they end up uh, making a lot of mistakes that they could have avoided um, otherwise. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, do start your application with them and thank you everyone again for joining. Hope to see you soon in Toronto. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Sir RC from Centennial College. So, so, syempre, I agree with that, guys. Lalo na sa mga OFW, no? I know guys, you don't have time, right? Eh, yung common right. reason kung bakit napakadami ang nagtitiwala sa the visa center because alam mo naman kapag expats or mga OFs, trabaho, bahay, at saka alam yon. So, wala, wala silang personal secretary nagagawa yes. niya. Kaya nandito ang The Visa Center para True. tulungan sila with their applications. And of course... That's less waste time. Oo. Kasi diba? we have more than 20 years na of experience processing uh, mm-hmm. ito, uh, applications to Australia. Kumbaga, ano na, pro. Pro na tayo. <laughs> Tama ba? <Yes. laughs> Especially is uh, um, statement of purpose, that's the most difficult part really where many would fail. That's why... Um, I looked at the data. It's really they really have better chances with uh, with one of her partners. At least. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so I think that's all for our first half. Again, thank you so much, Sir Arsene Rosell from Saint Anne's yes, College, for your time joining us, and hope to have you the next mga episodes natin. Siguro if we can have Sir No, we can have like a, a virtual tour. Post. Yes, maybe we can have like a virtual tour. Uh, sa ano mismo, sa College. I think yeah, actually, viewers, we're right? actually preparing um, we're preparing one for that we have one that's going to be hiding more of our facilities soon so once it's mm-hmm. up I'll definitely let you know so that we can use it in some maybe of around Feb no because I'm thinking that we'll open again the activities yeah we have actually already seen it uh, we're just waiting for them for our team to upload it in our website so, yes, it's going to be okay. a really good tool for everyone to use ayan right. so nakaka-excite so, naman so, yan so, Hmm. Okay, so thank you so much, Sir Rosel. Uh, Have a good night. College. See you next time. Thank you, po. Bye, po. Okay, partner. So yun nga, no, uh, I'm very happy 